Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be filming a fashion related Q&A. I basically asked for questions on my Instagram, which if you're not following me, it's Matilda Miller, always in the description. And I basically just put up a thing on my story asking for questions and the reason why it's a fashion Q&A is because pretty much every single question is fashion related because, I don't know, maybe because my followers are fashionable. So this is like a fashion sort of Q&A, um, basically just asking, asking? basically just answering the questions which you guys want to know about me um so yeah let's go first question is from sophie hughes and she says what's your favorite thrifted item now i i had two for these because one is like actually thrifted from a charity shop and one is bought online from like a thrifted website which i wasn't sure which one counted most so i thought i'd share both so my favourite in that I like wear it the most would be my boot cut jeans which I got for like two quid from a charity shop. You would have seen them in like every single video, they're basically just my like low waisted boot cut jeans which I wear every single day. I love these so much, they are the love of my life. But I also have a jumper which is also the love of my life, um, it's this Louis Vuitton knitted jumper. Oh my lord, literally it's just, whew. it's basically just a brown knitted jumper with like the Louis Vuitton monogram print all over and I love it. I haven't actually worn it to college yet because it is really hard to style because I don't know why this the shape of it is hard. It doesn't really go with jeans or any trousers so I find it hard to style but I do love that as my baby, my prized possession. Um, Tilda Davies says what's your favourite artist? Um, presuming she means music artist. See, I don't have a favourite because I don't necessarily just listen to one artist. I, like, have one song of, like, every artist, like, on my playlist, if that makes sense. Um, but at the moment, I'd probably say Scissor at the moment, just because I listen to her songs most out of any other artists at this current time. But it does change, like, every week. Emily Willis, I think, um, says, do you have Depop? Now, this question was asked quite a few times by, you know, Maya Grace said it as well. When I say quite a few times, I mean two times. But my Depop, see I have a personal Depop and then one which I actually like sell stuff on. So my personal is M-A-T-H-X-L-D-E-E, -E, but I don't post stuff on there. That's the stuff which I buy from. But then the Depop which I actually post clothes is Goldie Fits, which is me and my friend Emmy. We run a business where we sell clothes. Yeah. Um, Laura Major, Major, says, how did you get into modelling? Um, I... I'm not a model, like, at all. <laughs> I just do, like, a few shoots here and there. I started modelling. I'm not a model, so, like, I wouldn't say I model, but, like, um, basically, there's this photographer called Shot by Staff who um, I did a shoot with with her and my friend Evie, and that kind of uh, started it, I guess. Um, Grace Thornton says, are you confident now? No, um, I'm actually, like, I don't know if I come across a confident in my, my videos or not, I, I don't know, but I'm, like, really shy. Basically, when I first meet people, I'm really shy, and I don't, I don't know, I struggle to, like, get words out. Like, I just, like, stutter, and I'm just like, like, I just, I just don't speak. Um, you know, I used to be so much more confident when I was younger. When I was in, like, year seven or eight, I was super confident, um, but now... Like, every year I just get less and less confident. I don't know why, I just... I'm working on it, I really am. Um, but I wouldn't call myself confident. Karis Wisdom says, What do you want to be when you're older? Um, I want to be a dancer. I don't know if... I don't really talk about this in my videos that much, um, just because I prefer to make fashion videos. But um, dance is, like, my favourite thing ever. I do it, like, every day. Um, and I'd love to be a contemporary dancer when I'm older. Um, Nancy Lum... I think, and I'm presuming she means love Evie. I met Olivia Grace, like, we started speaking in like year eight, it must have been like a long time ago. And then we just like had a lot in common, started talking, and then like we just kind of fizzled out a bit. And then in like year 10, I'm saying this is like, I mean, I'm in year 12 now, so yeah, just for reference. In like year 10 or 11, um, we like started meshing again, and we just, yeah. We found out we had a lot more in, co in common because we're obviously older and I started to develop and stuff. And yeah, we just started talking a lot more. I met her at the Mabel concert and then because she's obviously best friends with Evie, 
she introduced me to Evie and then Evie invited me to the shoot with staff because Livy can make it so yeah and then and then I was friends with Evie and now we're really close. <laughs> oh. We've got another Thornton, Alice Thornton, says when did you file your style? I love it. Thank you. Um, I don't know, like when I was younger I thought I was really cool but like I just wasn't. Like in like year six I went through like a, a goth stage. I'd say probably year 10. So like, how old are you in year 10? Like 14 maybe? I, I don't know, my style like develops a lot. Um, Harley says your five staple clothing pieces. Um, right. So I never talk about these before, but my boot cut jeans because I wear them every day and they have to be my staple. My next would be my Ralph Lauren um, all over print trousers, the black and white ones, just because I always reach for these. Like if I'm ever like, oh, what do I wear today? I'm always like, oh, I'll wear you. Do you know what I mean? Like I love these. I do wear them all the time, and yeah, my other babies. Next, this looks weird, but I just had to put in um, trackies because um, I wear trackies like every day. These are just like plain grey Slazenger ones. I just wear trackies all the time because they're just so comfy and easy to style. Like just grey trackies in any top just works. Next, I I don't know if I call this a staple item. I don't know if I call this a staple item, but I do wear this top a lot. This is my black Dolce Gabbana Diva Girl top. Um, it again, goes with so much because it's black. Um, and it's just a nice fit. I love diamantes. I love anything with diamantes on. I'm obsessed. That was gross. I for a fifth one. I don't know. I've I've kind of got two, not specific ones, but one would be boob tubes because I wear boob tubes all the time. Like with trackies, it's just like my go-to outfit. I also said like Burberry because I own a lot of Burberry. I'm just gonna say the brand Burberry as a whole. God, I've said Burberry so many times. <laughs> yeah, that because I love that brand. I'm going to stop saying the actual name because it doesn't matter me now. But yeah, Burberry. <laughs> How would you describe your style? That's from Harley as well. Um, terrible. Um, I don't know. Like my style really changes like all the time. Like some days I go for like a like a brand of boob dupe and tracky sort of vibe. Vibe. Ugh, that's gross. Some days I go for like a, like a Devon Lee Carson sort of vibe where I'm like wearing my I don't know because I'm at this moment in time I'm trying to trying to go for the more I love Devon Lee Carlson and Bella Hadid's I'm sort of edging towards that style at this moment in time because there's more of like a mature like low waist of jeans like a thick strap vest and then like a slick back ponytail and gold hoops um that's how the look I'm trying to go for at the moment but I'm not really working because I can't afford any stuff they have because they're like billionaires uh, I honestly, I don't know, just like a mess, like I'm just, like I, bits of like everything, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Favourite clothing stores, that's one that is also from Harley. Um, I buy most of my clothes off Depop, um, just because it's cheaper and you can find like a bigger variety of things. But actual like clothing stores, I'd say Urban Outfitters definitely. I've been loving Topshop at the moment actually. Um, I never used to, but I've they've been pulling out some absolute bangers at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I don't know. That's about it. I buy most of my stuff like second hand on eBay, charity shops, depop. So yeah. Lily Ferguson says style inspiration. Um Devonly Carlson, she's my top search on Instagram. Belle Hadid as well. I love her like, I don't know, she's just so like slick and like cool but like effortlessly cool. Well see, she puts lots of effort into it but like, I don't know. And then Jess Alexander. Her style is more accessible I'd say because um, she's not a, well me she might be a billionaire but she's not like some like rich girl in LA. Oh and Elias from PAQ. I know like I have a different style to him but he does stem lots of my outfit ideas, I'm not gonna lie. Um, favourite place to buy clothes, I kind of answered that before, the my favourite clothing stores, but um, yeah, as I said before. My dad said, what's for tea? Literally, my dad, I, when I was asked, like, asking these questions, he was literally wetting himself. He's like, check your phone, check your phone, I checked it, and like, it was literally like, in hysterics, and it just wasn't funny. 
Phoebe says, what's your favourite makeup brand? Um, I don't actually know, like, I'm not very into makeup, as you can see now, I'm just kind of wearing, like, basic makeup, I don't know, I wear this style makeup every day, but I do like to experiment sometimes. I honestly, like, don't have to answer that one, because I literally don't even know what, like, makeup brands there are. <laughs> Phoebe says, okay, this is a different Phoebe, other Phoebe <laughs> says, so, Phoebe May says, what's your... What's your future goals and achievements, and how do YouTube take off for you? Future goals and achievements, I don't know if she means um, in YouTube or in life. So in life, it would be to become a dancer. Um, but in YouTube, just to keep on doing what I love. Like, I don't know, just keep on, like, making people happy. I love, like, reading comments of people, like, oh, this helps so much. Like, I love, like, seeing people's reactions, if that makes sense. Um, and I just love, like, creating new stuff. So... Future goals would just be just to keep on keep on slaying the game. Um, uh, that was so disgusting. And then, how do YouTube take off for you? I don't know. It was a slow. I mean, I'm still like a small YouTuber. Slow journey, baby step. When she says taking off, does she mean like, hey, or like, how do you start? Because when I say start, I just started because I wanted to. But taken off, I wouldn't say it's like taken off. No sense. I don't know. Oh, this is a fun name, Olympia. Olympia says, where do you get your designer boob tubes from? Um, I get mine from Cherry Pop Clothing. Um, Cherry Pop Clothing is a really lovely brand which sells really cool like boob tubes and tops and stuff. I don't know. Check them out on Instagram. I love them. Um, yeah. Cherry Pop Clothing. <laughs> Bluebell says, oh, I love that name. That's so nice. What's your go-to outfit? Oh, Lord. Um, I actually don't know. Those jeans and, like, a top. Um. I say my low waisted trousers and maybe like my beige turtleneck and like my little Gucci handbag. That's quite a that's kind of a vibe. <laughs> I sound like my friend Emmy when I say that. She says all the time. Yeah, probably that. I don't know. Bluebird also says, "What's your favorite pair of shoes at the moment?" Now, I'd say I have two. My first would be my Nike Air Force One, and my Jesters, the electric blue ones, because I wear them the most out of any other pair of shoes. But then my favorite, like prized possession would be my Nike 98s because they're a lot rarer and I don't wear them that often because it's like a it's like a treat to wear them like it's like a big it's like a special occasion when I wear my 98s yeah I'd probably say both of them I think um that's the last question actually I really hope you guys enjoyed this video a bit different but I wanted to get to know you guys a bit better and so you can find out like more about me if you want to see any more videos like this then please let me know and I'll make sure to do them and make sure to follow my Instagram so you don't miss out on me answering these questions again and yeah make sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below any suggestions that you want to see or your opinions on the video and make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye